Hello, everybody. My Bloombox is here. Yay. So Bloombox is a monthly subscription box for card making, for card makers. Um, it has everything in here, just about, except for the ink and the adhesive that you need to make four cards, including a full-size stamp set. These went out a little bit late this month because of um, the website got a whole new redo. And when they switched everything over, there was a problem with the Bloombox subscriptions. But they have it all straightened out. Will not be a problem next month. So all that being said, I didn't have a chance to really work with this. All I did was cut it open, and we're going to take a look at what's inside. Okay. There we go. Let's take that to the side. First of all, there is an instruction booklet. And here are the four cards right there. Really cute. And there's always a little message from Richard, RG. And then he always talks about some tips. He has some sort of tip or some new technique that he wants to teach every month to you. And so that's what's great about the balloon box. It's kind of like a little, um, a mini class in a box too. And also there is always um, a video to go with each one. And if you go to the Fun Stampers Journey YouTube, you'll be able to see the video for this month's balloon box and all the previous months too are still up there. So this one, the tool that he recommends is the Dauber Dowel because that's what he's showing you how to use. I think most card makers have these daubers, but if you don't, you can also use a makeup sponge. I've seen people do that. Okay, here's card number one. Cute. Card number two. Card number three. And card number four. And you can see they have the full instructions and they tell you the ink colors and he's used a lot of silks on here, which are the little splashes you can see, you know, you top them on um, in different colors. I personally don't have all these colors. I have the silver, so mine will just have silver on it. I won't have the lemon or the, or the clear sparkle, so mine will just have silver on it. So you can definitely improvise with what you have. Um, my goal is to have all the silks, but I just don't have them yet. So here's the instruction booklet, really cute. Here is the stamp set. You make me a happy camper. You make my heart skip a beat. Thank my lucky stars. Proud as punch. I'm a big fan. Cool beans. Cute. And they look like this. Little squares. And in case you've never seen the um, stamp sets from Fun Stamper's Journey, they are all the red rubber stamp sets. All the etched. And you can get, in my opinion, you can get a much cleaner, clearer image and much more detail with the red rubber than you can with the photopolymer stamps or the clear acrylic stamps. So there's that. And each kit, each card will be in its own kit and it will have all the elements. You can see these have been pierced already with the stars. The stars have been pierced and there's going to be some, looks like some um, glitter tape, some twine, everything you need except for, like I said, the ink and the adhesive. And this has already been embossed. There's the designer paper. It's all in here. Here, this one has some bling with it. I mean, one month it had, because you needed to use um, glitter, it had a little bag of glitter and it had a little bag of the Journey Glaze. So you could use that too. Okay, here's this one. I think these are star, these are arrows have already been cut out and this has already been pierced. So it's all ready to go in these. Okay, I'm going to show you really quickly the stamp sets I have from the previous month I've done so you can see how diverse they are. This one I think was my favorite, but I'm a butterfly gal, so this one's Bold Wings. Really pretty. This one's Punny Punny. It had little jokes. What do you call an alligator and a vest? An investigator. So it had little puns on it. Too cute. This one was T-Rex Love. This I love this one. It said, hug me. I'm trying. I love that. And then this one is the doilies, the decorative doily, which is so pretty. This one had a die cut that you could also order if you wanted it. Love this one. Okay, let me show you the new catalog. And I'm not going to, I'll flip through it at some point and do a video. But I wanted to show you in the back, it has an index of all the past balloon box stamp sets that you can now order. And so if you missed a balloon box and you thought, oh my gosh, I really wanted that this one. I wasn't even a Fun Stampers Journey member when this one came out, this wonderful day with the flowers, and I'd really like to have that one. So anyway, you can now order these, okay? 
And let me show you back here in the back. This is July's kit, and it is mermaids. And there will be a die set for this also that can be ordered separately if you'd like it. But so pretty. Okay, so the way the bloom box works is two ways. First way is there's a six month subscription, and you would you would sign up for six months. At the end of six months, you just simply call them, email them, cancel it if you want to. Or you can contact me through my email and tell me, hey, I want to cancel this. Um, and it's $24.95 a month if you go month to month, plus tax and shipping, of course. And you will get this delivered to your door. You don't have to think about it. Right around the first of the month, depending on what day of the week it is, they will bill your credit card, whatever you have on file. And then they usually go out by the 6th. So something depending, like, you know, depending on when, when the weekend falls. And so you'll get it pretty soon after that. About a week and a half or so before each bloom box is set to go out, you will receive an email that says the stamp colors and colors they recommend and anything else they recommend that you have on hand to make these. As I said, again, you can use what you have on hand, but they're going to send you what they recommend. And also, if there's an exclusive die set for this, they're going to send you that information in case you want to order. Okay, that's way number one. Number two is a month to month. So month to month is $29.95, so it's $5 more each month. But you can order, maybe you just want these mermaids and you don't know what next month is and you don't have any little kids in your life that you want to send out cards to and you don't like, maybe you don't like butterflies, whatever. And um, so you just want to go month to month. You can do that. $29.95 plus tax and shipping. However, you will not receive that. Here's what we recommend. You will receive an email if there, once you purchase it, if there is a die set, you'll probably still receive that. But also it is a while supplies last deal. So if you um, say it's getting towards the end of July and you're like, you know what? I really wanted those mermaids. Let me go on in there and try to get just the box. If they don't have them, they're not going to remake the kits once it gets to a certain time of the month if they sell out. They are going to make sure their bloom box people, their subscribers get them. So, of course, they're going to hold a few for people who sign up for six months. But if if they're out, they're out, they are not going to um, let you buy just the box. Also, if you can buy, you can also buy now just the stamp set. But again, it is while supplies last with the bloom box subscribers getting first dibs on everything. So that is the way that goes. Anyway, it is a great, it's been so much fun for me to do these every month. And it kind of, you know, I love making cards, but sometimes you get busy. This way I get four cards made a month. I put them in my little thing of pre-made cards and I have cards to pull from when an event comes up. So it's a really good thing for me. Anyway, that is the Bloom Box and I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you're interested, I will of course leave a link below so that you can order your own Bloom Box. Sign up for the subscription. Get this month's, get month by month, whatever you decide you want to do. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Happy crafting.